Hey everyone, this is a quick video to show you how to look up firing order and we're going to talk about what firing order is. So we're going to log into Shopkey. You can use uh, Shopkey Pro, you can use um, All Day Day, you can use the Haynes manual that we have available. Um, and you can also do general search on the internet to come up with some of these diagrams and uh, firing orders that I'm going to show you. We're going to look up a 1998 Ford Mustang with a 4.6 engine and a coupe. Uh, this is the vehicle we're using in a, a video about spark plug replacement. Uh, the easiest thing not to do on this is use the search function and search firing order. And we see that they have exactly that available. So we're going to click on firing order. And when we look for firing order, that is a specification. So we're going to go to specifications. And here is firing order and timing marks. So this screen shows the engine in this Mustang. Um, it shows the fan here so, it, so you know what the front of the engine is. And it tells you that the first cylinder uh, facing the engine from the front of the car on the left-hand side is cylinder number one. And in this case, they number the cylinders one, two, three, four on one side, five, six, seven, eight on the other. So a couple of things. If you compare the heads of a V-style engine, the heads will not be directly even at the front of the engine. This is because the cylinders can't uh, the, the pistons can't perfectly line up on the crankshaft. They have to line up um, a little offset from each other. Otherwise, the piston rods could not line up on the crankshaft correctly. They would be lined up together. So uh, the, the pistons are offset. That means one of the heads is going to be farther forward than the other when you look at the engine. So you can, you can take a look at the engine, and generally speaking, the head that's farthest forward is where number one cylinder is going to be. Now, not all engines are numbered uh, going down one side and then going down the other. Some of them are numbered across. So they might go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. So you have to look at the, uh, the specifications on the engine you're working on to see how it's numbered. Uh, this is a handy diagram because it also shows you the coil packs and how the wires would be numbered in the coil pack. So if you're replacing wires, it's easy to figure out uh, you know, where, what plug lines up with what coil pack. Here's the firing order on this vehicle. One, three, seven, two, six, five, four, eight. So one, three, seven, two, six, five, four, eight. As the engine fires, it will fire in that order. So when you're checking for firing order and the plug wires being connected in the proper place, you can look at a diagram like this. Now let's look at the firing order of an older Mustang. So we're gonna close this screen. We're going to change the vehicle and we're gonna go all the way down to a 65 Mustang. And in these years, they had a 4.7 V8. And let's just click standard and we'll click use this vehicle. Uh, we do another firing order search. And in this case, it says no results returned for your search. So we're gonna do a keyword search and looks like we have firing order showing up in engine performance and maintenance. And, you know, I don't see it. Quickly showing up, maybe we'll get it right here. No, nope. so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the vehicle. I'm gonna go up one year and go to a 66. And 
And let's do the same search. Keyword firing order, and here it shows up under tune-up. So here we go, under tune-up, this is showing us the firing order for this particular vehicle. And in this case, it's a distributor vehicle. So they show us this distributor at the front of the car. They're telling us it's the front right here. Uh, the, the tabs that attach the distributor cap are actually shown in the video. So if you're installing a distributor on this car, you can somewhat go by this angle that they've set this in here and be pretty close to positioning your distributor in the right place. All firing orders start with the number one. And they show you here that the rotor is going to spin counterclockwise on this uh, particular distributor. So the firing order, if you just follow around the rotor or follow around the distributor cap is one, five, four, two, six, three, seven, eight. And here it is, one, five, four, two, six, three, seven, eight. Uh, this cylinder, these cylinders are numbered the same as the newer Mustang, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can lay out your uh, spark plug wires if you're going to check and see if they're connected properly. You can follow the wires from either the coil and the previous example or from this distributor in this example. One more thing I want to show you, and I'm going to get a uh, pad to write on here. So I'm going to pause for one second. This is a common General Motors firing order. 18436572. In some of the information that I've given you, they're talking about companion cylinders. A companion cylinder is, or cylinders, are two cylinders where the piston is moving up and down together. So in companion cylinders, one piston that's moving up is on the compression stroke and the other piston that's moving up is on the exhaust stroke. So if you wanna find out what pistons are moving together, you can take the firing order and you can put the first half of the firing order above the second half of the firing order. So in this case, 18436572 is the firing order. And if you just draw lines, you can see what the companion cylinders are. So one and six move up and down in the engine together, eight and five, four and seven, three and two. These are pistons where if one, cylinder, one piston is at top dead center on the compression stroke, its companion cylinder will be top dead center on the exhaust stroke. Or if uh, one piston is at the bottom of the intake stroke, the other piston will be at the bottom of the power stroke. So this is how you can find out what your companion cylinders are on your vehicle. I hope all that was helpful.